Well, that was fun. Hello, Clothier. Sorry, mister. My mistake. Please! No! Oh, you bastard! That man just robbed you! I saw it! Get after him! Wow. Honey, what's your problem? I didn't do nothing! This man's crazy! Ah, this bastard. All I wanted was some fucking clothes. And now the, the tailor's probably closed. All I wanted was some nice new clothes to go and look nice. But no. No. Fancy pants? There's a thing of pants just called fancy pants. Am I a dead man? Bunch of idiots, I tell ya. Well, that gang thought they were gonna have have a nice little score, but they aren't anymore. They indeed are not. They are instead having death. All of them. They are all dead. As you probably saw. You are all witness to my murder. If we're gonna make it to this party, we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. I am Old clean. Friend. Vandalin is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So Good thing I changed. We go and get you a gown. <laughs> I just bought a whole bunch of clothes. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. I still don't look like I've ever bathed. House, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find so. Okay. <laughs> there's no, there's no drinks in those glasses. Man, I'm glad I got a haircut. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. Lemieux. He can do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. Politics is a foul business. Yeah. Indeed, so it is. That, that is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> ah, indeed. <laughs> oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war. <laughs> I'm a hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh the Redskins. <laughs> <laughs> what I the fuck? no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> oh, my God. I should not have got up this morning. What is going on? Dang right. That's how you get girls at the parties is champagne. Okay. Yeah, that totally worked. Bonjour. Uh, let's go talk to this fucking mayor, dude. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope Arthur Morgan. I am. Here. Allegedly. <laughs> place you got here. It's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? Oh, Lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Why was that? Wow. 
Wow, look at the fireworks. This is awesome. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it for a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. He did. Find out what. I wanted to watch the fireworks. How come nobody else can follow the servant? I'm not a f it's been like three stealth missions in a row. Mr. What is going on? Jesus Christ, can we just fucking stop being so high society? I like the old west. Here comes Lenny. Alright. Let's get in. Oh Lenny drove our drove our carriage for us? That's kind of racist. So awkward in all my life. All well, yeah. Folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Here's them papers I took. You take this. My damn horse died on me and my legs are hurting and I need to get home. Yeah, okay. We can help you. Oh, gosh, I don't know what I did. Sorry. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I got a killer now. I didn't mean for any of that to happen, by the way. This is fucking ridiculous. I can't believe that happened. I pressed the wrong button. And then everything just went... Went south. All I did was press the wrong button. I guess we'll go to the post office and pay off our five dollar bounty. Yeah, you you murdered somebody and threatened someone else, but like, you know, five dollars. I'm just trying to be nice. I pressed the wrong button, or I pressed the wrong like the prompt at the wrong time, or something. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to get back on my horse, and I robbed somebody, apparently. This is Rainsfall, the great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. What's up, Rainsfall and Eagle Flies? I you in the wagon train, crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. Mm-hmm. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We okay. We've hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. Come on, Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. Like you, my time here is nigh on done. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. Okay, yeah. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. We must try everything. Come along. Eagle flies, you need to be. Hello. Mr. Miller, the counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting, I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. I'm all with helping the, the indigenous peoples out. Like, I don't care. Let's go. Arthur, maybe we shouldn't have asked for money. That was kind of a dick move, but you know what? I get it. Why are you doing this? I'm a dick.